this is a question probably in a lot of people's minds. Bill, go ahead. You're on the air. Yeah, hi. Thank you for taking my call. I'm really confused about the ICC. Like, how long have they existed, and what's the purpose or uh, reason or process? Well, the ICC came into existence pursuant to a treaty. See, the, these international tribunals can't just exist. They have to have a basis upon which they exist. And here it was, the Rome Statute. And they had to get a certain amount of countries to agree to consent to jurisdiction and to the rules and regulations in order for the ICC to come into existence. The idea was to fight, to, to do something against war crimes. It was in light of what took place during World War II. The problem has been and it's been consistent. We've dealt with now two prosecutors because they, they have 10-year terms. So we're in our second. We just finished our second prosecutor. That's how long we've been litigating at the ICC, 12 or 20 years. Um, the problem is, Andy, that it's a limited jurisdiction court, yet they are trying to creatively pursue other jurisdictions. The idea is that it's a court of limited jurisdiction in the sense that it is not there to investigate where there is a judicial system in existence already in the state where the acts allegedly occurred. That's the complementarity principle. The idea is that if there is a judicial system, as there is in Israel, that can investigate war crimes, individuals who have alleged to have been committed war crimes, then its jurisdiction is not present. It must defer to the local jurisdiction, and that's where the uh, International Criminal Court finds itself today. And I don't think, first of all, Israel does not join, is not part of that, where the United States is not part of the International Criminal Court. Yep. Why they're doing this, it is simply to undercut Israel again. Melanie on YouTube writes, why would any country join the ICC, Andy? <laughs> what would it be beneficial I mean, to them? Th there is no benefit to that. There's that. That's why we're not part of it in the United States. It would be There would be no reason for them. We don't I don't want an international tribunal that is skewed against me investigating atrocities allegedly committed by United States soldiers when I've got a system of complementarity that, will, that can address that. So what do I want an international court to do?